Hey, so we're live. That's cool. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Abby Widener. I'm a senior here at the University of Arkansas, and my major is Advertising and Public Relations. Absolutely. Um, I stayed in Yoakum Hall my freshman year. Uh, behind the camera, we have... Yes, Christopher Spencer. I'm the uh, Assistant Director for Marketing and Strategic Communications here. And uh, this is the very first of the tours that we're gonna do. And we're gonna do 18 in all. So this is what, 10 a.m. Monday, we're doing Gibson Hall. Yeah. And uh, happens to actually be the most historic hall too. We um, had intended to start uh, from the outside, but unfortunately the Wi-Fi was, that in the middle part wasn't going as well. So we're gonna do, uh, do it from the inside here. And, um, yeah, but let me, let me just point outwards for a moment to kind of show where we are. Let's see if we can go out here a little bit. I'm going to try it. Let's test to see if we can't start a little bit outside. Still working okay? Yeah. Okay. So outside here, we're in the central part of campus, for one thing. And then over here, Gregson, right? Yep. Gregson. Yeah. And then Prof Dining right there. We got, uh, what's that? Starbucks. Starbucks right there. If you want to get in front, feel free. And uh, then Founders, we're doing one at Founders uh, later today. And then down, down there is the famed Dixon Street. So we can go a little further out. I'm a little worried about Wi Fi issues, but let's see. We can get down there to Dixon Street. And that's our entertainment district down here. And you can't see it so well from right here, but it is definitely down there. Greek Theater is right there. So you're in the central part of campus right now, basically. And uh, you can see the Ozark Mountains out of that area. Now let's head inside and see Gibson. There you are, I'm back on you, Abby. You show us the, fa the FOB system here for all your security needs. There you go. FOB us on in. All right, excellent. Great, so I'm gonna come around here and show kind of this some of the detail of this main hall area. And you stay right there, get you. Yeah. So, um, oh yeah, and tell people they can ask questions if they want. And... Yeah. Yeah, you guys are free to ask any questions that you want. And if you see that you've got the option to leave little emoticons on the screen, you can do that as well. But all questions are welcome. So ask away. We have six people watching us right now, awesome. just so you're aware. Yeah, hello everybody. Um, so we're in the lobby area of Gibson Hall, and you can see it's got this nice little uh, detailing on the floor. You're going to see a lot of interesting detail like uh, hardwood floors that were recently done, re you know, in the last few years. And um, what well, we've got our front desk here, our front desk area. Yep. And is there any way, Ashley asked if there's any way we could look at a uh, corner room. Do we have the corner room open? Or we have, we have not one of the corner rooms, we have one of the other rooms that's open. I think there's a corner room that we can look at down here. Okay, we might be able to get one unlocked for that, for that particular reason. Thanks for the question, Ashley. We'll try to get that done if we can. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and what, go upstairs? Yeah, we'll start upstairs. Yeah, so um, tell us a little bit about this uh, hall, Abby. So, Gibson was originally called Razorback Hall. Oh, right. That's right. We found that year. Mm -hmm. let's, let's look at that real quick, too. It was an all-men's um, football hall. Yeah. And actually, we... we just we, This is a, a scrapbook that was found whenever they did some restoration in here. Yeah. And we won't go through the whole scrapbook, but it's kind of cool. It connects Razorback Hall, the former name, to what it is now, which is, of course, Gibson. And a fun fact that we just learned is that... One of the articles that the student put in their scrapbook was that parking was a big issue back then in the, <laughs> the 67 and 68 year. So I don't think that's changed much. The more things change, yes. the more they stay the same. <laughs> so yeah, let's head upstairs. Yep. And this is an all women's uh, hall, right? Yes, all women's multi-class. So anyone from freshman to senior, mm -hmm. um, according to our res hall fact book, there mm -hmm. is about 40% um, sophomores oh, in here. So, so mostly like, sophomore hall. Yeah, mostly sophomores, ages 19, but yeah. it is a multi-class. I have friends that lived here their freshman year too. So. Okay, and where are we going right now? Right now we'll see the kitchenette and study lounge area. Okay. And so you will see right here we've got the kitchen. Yeah. It's very nice, updated appliances. Sure. And then we've got a study nook over here. Mm -hmm. 
got involved. Nice natural light. Your study on. And then, it's hard what floor's doing it for me. I'm like, yeah, they were restored in the summer of 2015. Is that correct? I think so. It's fairly recent. Yeah. So I guess we could let me get a view here. A pan. Uh, this is the study study nook area. Let's see. Oh. So yeah, you can see right there. It's kind of a nice little view. Got all the magazines here. Yes. PlayStation. So Abby, are you playing Pokemon Go? Guilty. I am playing Pokemon Go. My child has come to life. And how, I'm excited about it. How many have you caught? Is that the right term? I just got to level five, so I'm still kind of a newbie. Okay, okay. I'm my way up there, but I'm not sure exactly how many I've caught yet. So I've traded some of them in to the professor. Oh, I see, I see. There's a uh, Xbox system right here, too, as a matter of fact. I, uh, I was walking along the Greenway this weekend, and I saw a lot of a lot of just guys walking around with cell phones in front of like, them. Yeah, they, they travel in clusters. It was fascinating. They may not even know each other, but they travel in clusters <laughs> playing the game because they all show up. Campus is a big hub for Pokemon Go. It seems like it. It is. Hey, Bailey. Sorry, I'm not sure why you can't see anything right now, but I'll, we'll try to work on that if we can. Um, we got five people apparently watching right now. Okay. Um, yeah, so here is the kitchen area. And let's see. Okay, we'll move on. Ready? Sure. Can you take a look at the restrooms next, or do you want to go back downstairs? Was there anything else on the floor too that we want to check out? Let's okay. see if the corner room is unlocked. Most of the rooms are unlocked. Check out a corner they are? room. Okay. Yeah, we can. Actually, we're gonna try to satisfy your your desire here and check out a corner room if we can. Stairs. There are three floors here, apparently. Okay, so we can check out the corner room. Now we'll do measurements in the floor below, yeah. but here is an example of a corner room. The, the linens are here for conferences. Yeah, and the linens are here for, as Ken said, linens are here for conferences. So there's a bed, and, and you know, these furniture's kind of, it's nice detail with furniture, yeah. I like that. Um, yeah, you bet. Anything else you want to see in here, Ashley? Yeah, yeah, I'm happy uh, to, to if there's anything you want to see, Douglas or Ashley, we're happy to check it out. There's apparently a mount right there for a TV, so it's good to know. We'll be doing measurements downstairs. We have a tape measure, and I think a lot of these carry through. Okay, great. Let's head on down, see some more details about this hall. Should we use that one or you want to use the one downstairs? Let's use this one. You want to use that one? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So I'm going to show you a bathroom here in uh, Gibson. So you have a sense of it. Again, that tile. It's kind of a fun detail. Uh, now, of course, these are women's bathrooms, so they're not co ed. Um, shower yeah, I mean, we're not going to like go literally into yeah. the too deep into the bathroom, but just so you're aware of what the of what's going on here. Um, we've got, you know, a shower back there. Um, obviously some stalls right there. Um, yeah. Let's see. Is there anything else about that? Okay. And there are three or four bathrooms on each floor. Oh, okay. And as Kent said, there are three or four different bathrooms on each floor. So, head down right here? yep, let's head down right there. So Bailey, I'm sorry you're having a technical issue. Is anybody else uh, trying to see and can't see? Because we'll be sure we address that. This is again our first tour, so, and, and our first time ever to use this. <laughs> so there's gonna be some uh, issues, some trial and error. Now, uh, we will be posting this though, online after it's done. Okay, so we're going back towards the uh, main area. Okay, okay, good. Okay, thanks, Sadie. She reloaded the page and then she could see the video again. Okay. So maybe that'll work for folks. You can mention that third floor also has a lounge. Okay. Oh, yeah, so that, that kitchen we looked at on second floor, third floor also has a smaller, well, slightly smaller version of that. 
Um, it's a study it's, room, but no kitchen. Is that right, right, it's the same size. Um, it's a study room without the kitchen. Okay. Um, no, that's cool. That's cool. Um, all right. Well, let's head on down. What we're gonna? Oh, we're gonna look at some of the the laundry and the mailboxes. And the mailboxes. That's right. So each you'll be person, getting your mail here. Go yeah, ahead. Each person will be given um, a combination, and you just do the combination, and your mail will be in there. So that's really nice. You can yeah. check your mail right from your dorm. And then in here we've got the laundry room. And there is not an elevator in this room. In this room. No. Right? Okay. Yeah. It's a third floor walk up. Yes. Okay. So we've got laundry units here. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to tell them a little bit about the laundry alert that we're doing? Yeah, we can tell them about. We have a new system coming in for laundry alert, um, and that's starting with you guys if you are a freshman. And do you can you tell us a little bit about it too, or should I go into detail about it? I know very brief okay. details. Um, no, no problem. What I understand, you'll be able to pull up the site on your phone and it'll notify you when your laundry is done. Mm -hmm. It'll text you yeah, or it's email text you. Or email. Mm -hmm. And then you can also check and see which units are open. Is that yeah, correct? right, so exactly. Way. So so if we're looking at, well, there's the ice machine, but if we're looking at, well, I don't know, no, machine number five or whatever, you can get a uh, text message that says machine five is open yeah. if you want to, or you can just check the digital dashboard and it tells you which ones are open and which ones aren't. Yeah. So we think that'll be a cool service for folks because then you can, I don't know, go to class and get a text on when your dryer's done. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be good. I was trying to see if there was Is there some thing. detail there? Yeah. Um, oh, and there's a vending machine too down here just in case. And recycling right there. Water is for the laundry. It's, is this a free one? You don't have to... Yeah, all laundry is free. Okay. It's covered by your fees. So, so you just come and use as much as you want. Scan here to report a problem if that happens. Okay, so we're ready to go into a room. I yeah. think that's what we're doing. Covered the bathrooms. There is a co ed bathroom in here because it is an all women's residence hall. Okay. So there's one co ed bathroom. I don't know if there's one on each floor, but I know there's one for sure right here. Right. So. We just got a question in, so we'll try to address it. Um, Bailey asks uh, Can the window, uh, can the window, could you use a tension rod for curtains in the window? Uh, let's go find a, out. Let's go find out. In the, <laughs> we're that way. Oh, we're this way. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Oh. <laughs> and you lived again in which halls? I lived in Yoakum. Yoakum. Yes. That's and right. I only did, I lived in a dorm one year. Okay. Yeah. So let's see. Let's get that question first. But you're working with us because you're a good broadcast journalist major. It looks like there will be able to fit a small tension rod there if okay. it's skinny enough. Let's see. But there's, it com comes out on both sides right there. So I'm sure that you could fit a tension rod to kind of yeah. open up your windows. Right, I would think so. So we're in the room right now that we're going to be kind of measuring and looking at. Uh, we're in room 142, 142 in Gibson Hall. And uh, let's just let's just go on a full sweep. Yeah. Start here on the left. So we have thermostat there. And then... A nice closet with a door. Best, actually, yeah. You don't get that very often. So you get a lot of the uh, historic details of uh, this. Yeah, go on up there. Let's see what's up there. Maybe. Maybe? Can you get up there? I think it might be painted shut. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not for our entrance. All right. But yeah, you got, you know, full... And, and there are two of these in here. So I'm looking at the one that belongs to this bed and this desk. Yep. Um, let's see if there's anything else in there, okay? The furniture's all movable. Yep. Uh, well, this... Not the, the okay. Not. So yeah, apparently you can get up there. That's extra storage if you want it. I can see how that would be pretty useful. Um, as well as the closet detail there. Yeah. like some shoulder pads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, then we have this dresser. Um, which is, I guess, a sh is it shared or? What's yeah, it's, yeah, it's shared. It's okay, so they kind of mirror each other. Yeah, you got all the drawers and everything like that. Does anybody have any questions about the hallway room and how it's put together? I want to poke into any corner you want me to poke into. So Perfect there's one of the moving. beds. Yep. So these, if you want to move them around, these can be moved. Mm-hmm. The sink, do we show them the sink? I don't think we show them the sink. And then we've got some So sink in the room is not a bad thing at all. No, I wish I had that. All right. So there you go. 
again, our, our beautiful hardwood floors that we have. So let's see. Let's, um, if people aren't necessarily asking for measurements, then maybe we'll just read. I think we have some measurements already put in there. Yeah. Um, let's see if there's anything. Oh, well, I guess this is kind of an interesting detail. So yeah, you could put anything you want on that shelf. Hmm. Any, any question? Oh, let's see. Douglas asked, is there campus Wi-Fi available in the rooms in this building? We were told we, we, we may need our own wireless router in this building. Well, I don't think they just got the new campus Wi-Fi, didn't they? They did. And I think Wi-Fi extends to every residence hall now. Yeah. Douglas, let me get a more um, technical answer for you and I will post it on this event. We'll try to make sure that we get you the exact right answer because I don't want to misspeak but I do know that we've done some recent upgrades. Let me get you on there. <laughs> some recent upgrades on uh, our Wi-Fi. So thanks for asking that question. Are there any other questions before we just start reading some measurements which are available at housing.uark.edu then you click on campus communities. You're welcome Douglas. And then you'll see, um, you'll see all of our residence halls. About midway down the page, you're gonna see a lot of measurements. Um, if you need more detailed measurements than that, now is really the time to ask for those. But we can give them to you. We'll, we'll kind of, what are some of the details we have there? So we've got, all, both the mattresses are extra long mm -hmm. twins. Okay, um, what is extra long twin? Is it, I think it's uh, 30, 36, 36 by 80. 80. 36 by 80. Most of ours are 36 by 80. There's a few exceptions, but yeah, yeah. Um, across all of our residence halls. Mm -hmm. So yeah, what else? Um, let's see. So then we've got two desks okay. and two side tables that come with that. Mm -hmm. um, the desk itself is 48 by 24 by 30. Okay. And that's length by width by height. Okay. Okay. Um, and then let's see, we've got, it says there's Two mirrors, but we've got one mirror. Okay, okay, well, does the mirror, the do we mirror, have some dimensions for the mirror? Yeah, the mirror is 32 by 40. 32 by 40, mm -hmm. okay, and nice to know. The bookshelf is mm -hmm. 71 by 9. So that's 71 length. inches across. 71, 9 inches deep. 9 inches deep, okay. Yes. Do we have the height element? It doesn't say the height. Okay, let's measure it. Okay. And then, do we want to know, is that useful? Sure, why not? That's, uh, would someone be poke, putting stuff on there, yeah, I guess? let's see. If you have like a giant lamp or anything, mm -hmm. it's very useful. From the top shelf to the desk is about 40 inches. 40 inches, okay. From the top shelf to the desk, about 40 inches. Yes. Okay, what other dimensions? I know a lot of people ask about lofting the beds and that sort of thing. Yeah. It looks see. like these are loftable. Yeah, let's, I'm trying to see if it says, it doesn't say how like tall the bed goes. Well, let's measure it, because okay. I think that would be actually a useful calculation to them. That. Yeah, so let's, well actually let's go from where the pen is. Let's get both. So how tall is the uh, thing itself? Okay. 36 inches. 36 inches. And then from the very top pen. From the, from the top pin, the highest point you can raise it? It's about 34 inches. So 34 inches. Um, now if we measure the bottom of this, because you could only put stuff in from there. Well, you can raise this up to here and you can put Oh. It. That's what I did. I raised mine up to the top right here. Okay. And I was able to fit a mini fridge under there. So. And a whole mini fridge? Yes. Mini wow, okay. That's a thing. So fun fact. Yes. Are there any other room measurements that... Um, Maybe the windows? Yeah. Um, I mean, if we can get it easily, yeah. we don't. Well, I, think they I don't want anyone to break in their neck. Let's see. Windows. Not on the first show. The Not on the first show. Yeah, we gotta. The windows are eighty-two point five in width and seventy-eight inches tall. So if you okay. try to bring curtains, get some. So seventy-eight tall, eighty-two wide. Yeah. Okay. Well, no. Yes, that's right. Okay. That was um, I don't know if they need closet measurements. Well, I'm not, not getting that question, but... 53 by 29 by 80, length by width by height. Is the whole, the whole size closet. of the closet? So okay. it's 
53 long. Okay. I forgot my numbers here. 53 long, 29 deep, and 80 tall. Okay, okay. These chairs come apart. I'm not exactly sure. They do come apart. Wait, show me this trick. Oh. Someone showed me this to me before. I don't know if I remember how to do it. They, they, they come like rocking chairs. Right. We can make this happen. There you go. Done. Look at that. Why don't you Why don't you rock us out? Okay. You don't mind rocking us out of this I tour? There <laughs> we go. There you go. So um, I think I think that concludes what we formally wanted to cover yep. in our uh, in our tour of Gibson Hall. We're doing another another one at two out of Founders. Um, do I have any questions before we finish up? You gonna, ro you gonna rock us out, Abby? Rock us out. Abby broke the chair. We'll fix it. We'll fix it in, in editorial. It's, not it's just a puzzle. Yeah, it is a puzzle. You can use that part is a little stool. There we go. Does that raise that? Okay. Wow. Fancy. It is fancy furniture. Okay, everybody. Well, thank you for joining us for the very first one. Uh, we're learning as we go. And uh, thank you very much.